Ustaz Wa'il spoke about the Prophet as the good news. Mufti Mink spoke about the Quran as the good news. So to my person, if you believe in the Prophet, follow divine guidance, you will enter Jannatul Firdaus or Jannah of the Dhul Arsh al Majid. And that is my topic, glad tidings as Jannah. When the day comes, and may Allah make me and you and each and every one of us of those who will witness this day, when the day comes and the hisab is finished and the tests and trials and tribulations are done, you will, the righteous will be moved in their hordes towards Jannah. Qala ta'ala, وَسِيقَ الَّذِينَ اتَّقَوْ رَبَّهُمْ إِلَى الْجَنَّةِ زُمَرَا And those who were Allah conscious, those who lived aware of Allah Rabbul Izzah, will, move, will be moved in their hordes towards Jannah, in their groups towards Jannah. And when you look at them, you will see on their faces happiness. وُجُوهٌ يَوْمَئِذٍ مُصْفِرَةٌ faces that day radiant, glowing with happiness, happy of the glad tiding that is to come. Alhamdulillah, Qiyamat is finished. Alhamdulillah, Hisab is done. Alhamdulillah, my book is given in the right. Alhamdulillah, I am at the doors of Jannah. Hatta until they reach the precipice of Jannah. And they imagine majestic gates, huge, but the gates are closed. You will arrive in front of it, and the Rasul will move forward to ask for the gates to be open. So the Khazan says, Man ant, who are you? So he says, Muhammad, Rasulullah. Ah, what an honor that you're of his nation. So the angel says in the hadith is sahih ala shart al-Bukhari and uh, you know classified by Albani rahimahullah ta'ala. So the angel says bika umirt I was ordered for you that I would not open this gate to any before you. So imagine now the gates of Jannah open and you will see inside it what the Hadith the Qudsi says, مَا لَا عَيْنٌ رَأَتْ وَلَا أُذُنٌ سَمِعَتْ وَلَا خَطَرَ عَلَى قَلْبِ بَشَرٍ what no eye has ever seen, what no ear has ever heard, nor has it ever occurred on the imagination of man. The Jannah of Ibn al-Qayyim al-Lahi Darruh describes it from the Ahadith. This فَإِنْ سَأَلْتَ عَنْ أَرْضِهَا وَتُرْبَتِهَا فَهِيَ الْمِسْكُ وَالزَّعْفَرَانِ If you ask about its soil and its sand, it is the sensation of misk and saffron. وَإِنْ سَأَلْتَ عَنْ سَقْفِهَا فَهُوَ عَرْشُ الرَّحْمَانِ And if you ask about its ceiling, it is the throne of the beneficent. وَإِنْ سَأَلْتَ عَنْ مِلَاطِهَا فَهُوَ الْمِسْكُ الْأَزْفَرُ وَإِنْ سَأَلْتَ عَنْ حِسْبَائِهَا فَهُوَ اللُّؤْلُؤُ وَالْجَوْهَرُ If you were to ask about its cement, it is purified misk. If you were to ask of its stones and pebbles, it is jewels, emeralds and rubies. Can you imagine? You go to a jewelry shop, you look at a ring and it says $10,000 is just a little stone and Jannah is filled with it. And وَإِنْ سَأَلْتَ عَنْ بِنَائِهَا If you were to ask of its buildings لَبِنَةٌ مِّن فِضَّةٍ وَلَبِنَةٌ مِّن ذَهَبٍ لَا مِنَ الْحَطَبِ وَخَشَبٍ وَإِنْ سَأَلْتَ عَنْ أَشْجَارِهَا فَمَا فِيهَا مِنْ شَجَرَةٍ إِلَّا وَسَاقُهَا مِنْ ذَهَبٍ And if you were to ask of its buildings a brick of silver and a brick of gold, not wood and clay, and if you were to ask of its trees, there's not a tree in Jannah except that its trunk is pure gold. And the shade that would last the rider a hundred years under. So imagine you've just entered and subhanal khaliq, what a place. The, the scent, the perfume, the elegance. And as you, so you, 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 you're seeing it, but you haven't entered. And as you enter, the angels say, Salamun alaykum, tibtum, fadkhuluha khalidin. Peace be unto you, 
you did well, enter it for eternity. And as you enter, وَالْمَلَائِكَةُ يَدْخُلُونَ عَلَيْهِمْ مِنْ كُلِّ بَابٍ سَلَامٌ عَلَيْكُمْ بِمَا صَبَرْتُمْ فَنِعْمَ عُقْبَ الدَّارِ The angels will come from left, right, and every door, not to shout, but to call nicely next to your ear, peace be unto you. You did good, you are patient, enjoy for eternity. Now you're in Jannah. My time is very limited, so I will race through this. And you will go to the houses in Jannah. A hadith of the Prophet, the Rasul says, I just want to give a little snippet. The Rasul says, Dakhaltul Jannah, I entered Jannah. And what an honor that your Prophet has seen it. He says, Dakhaltul Jannah, I entered Jannah. فَإِذَا أَنَا بِقَصْرٍ مِّن ذَهَبْ In front of me came a palace of pure gold. Can you imagine? Dazzling gold, walls of gold, pillars of gold, uh, paving gold, bedding, uh, gold, you know. So the Prophet is dazzled by it. So he goes, uh, Whose palace is this? So in one of the ahadith, they say, To a man of the Arabs. The other one is, But the, to one of the men of the Arabs. So the Rasul says, I am from the Arabs. Who? So they said, a man from the Quraysh. So the Rasul says, I am from the Quraysh. So they said, someone from the Ummah of Muhammad. He said, I am Muhammad. Who is it? So they said, Umar ibn al-Khattab. This is the palace of Umar. In another hadith, it says, Liman hadha? It says, Lifatam min Quraysh. It belongs to one of the youngsters of the Quraysh. So the Rasul says, Fadhanantu anni anahu. I thought I am it. You know, talking about the sons of the Quraysh, I am the prince of Quraysh. So obviously it is mine. So who says, Liman man huwa? Who is it? It says, Umar ibn al Khattab. So the Rasul says, I wanted to enter it, but the Kardo I I remembered your sense of honor with regards to your family and your women, so I stayed out, Ya Umar. Umar is sitting for Baka Umar, he started to cry. He says, Awamin ka agaru ya Rasulullah, O oh, oh, Rasul of Allah, will I have ghira with regards to my women when it's concerning you? Our mother Khadija Kubra radiallahu anha, she's coming one day carrying food for the Rasul. Jibreel comes from above the seventh heavens telling him, O Prophet of Allah, Khadija is about to enter. She's carrying food for you. When look at the honor and the status of this lady. Allah Rabbul Izzah has sent Jibreel from above the seven heavens to do what? Go to Muhammad, tell him that Allah has sent Salam, his person, to Khadija Te Kubra. Aqra' has Salam, tell her Allah says Salam, Ya Khadija. So Jibreel comes. You know, Ya Muhammad, aqra'ha salam, tell her salam, mir rabbiha, from her Lord. And then Jibreel says, wa minni, and tell her salam from me too. And then, wa bashirha bi baytim fil jannah min qasab, and give her the glad tidings of a house in jannah made from a single pearl. وَالْقَصَبُ فِي اللُّغَةِ يعني اللُّؤْلُؤَ مُجَوَّفَ An unadulterated pearl, perfect. One, can you imagine, like a little pearl is a, a lot of money. It's a, a palace is made of pearl. So this is the abodes of Jannah. And, you know, there's so much, so much to talk about, but I, uh, my time is excessively limited. So you enjoy the whole of Jannah. Imagine you will sit on necks of birds and point to that place and that bird will fly like in Harry Potter's movie. It will go straight there to that side and then you'll go maybe, you know, that side, it will fly to that side. This is, can you imagine the joy in Jannah? All of that is one thing. And then an amazing day comes. You're in Jannah enjoying the you know the beauty of jannah and jannah is beautiful subhanallah everything in jannah is beautiful you know some of you uh, will look at, at your life partners and think you know this is a bit ordinary you know uh, in jannah in jannah subhan al khaliq that ordinary person that man that you're sitting next and you know who you're with inshallah ta'ala my allah bless one and all um, in jannah Allah Rabbul Izza will give him the perfect age, 33 years young. You know, where he's got 
the strength of manhood and at the same time the wisdom of adulthood 33 years size like our father Adam alayhi salam beauty competing with the beauty of Yusuf you know Yusuf alayhi salam beauty so dazzling once he entered the room women were sitting they were cutting fruits so they summoned him like enter into so when he entered you know the door opens Yusuf enters the whole room turns to him like that you know and they hypnotized mesmerized be glued to him you know so the Quran says when they see him mesmerized by his beauty, they cut the, you know, the apple finishes, they're cutting their hand, but they can't feel it. Go, oh, this is not a human being. It is. So you, beauty, like the beauty of Yusuf alayhi salam. And for the sisters, Allah Rabbul Izzah says, we will make them up anew again with a beauty befitting the beauty of Jannah. We will make them untouched. Linguistically sweet and elegant. You know, right now you're hoping for a sweet word from one another, like khala say one nice thing, you know, and it's not happening there. They will become masters of language where you know he talks or she talks and your heart skips a beat and one of the scholars of hadith say when you enter your house your spouse your righteous wife from this dunya or the one that allah will give you in the akhirah will be there before you and the first time you see her you know once it says for 40 years you'll be stuck like that like oh yeah yeah beauty out of this world but that is all one thing then a day will come you're in jannah enjoying its 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 wonders and the caller will call nadal munadi the caller will call ya ahl al jannah o oh inhabitants of jannah inna rabbakum tabaraka wa ta'ala yastazirukum fa hayya ala ziyaratih your lord wishes an audience with you so rush to the meeting of your lord so they come Mounts are prepared for them, Royals Royces of the Akhirah. They will get on top of it and ride to the meeting of their Lord. And then they reach a fast opening valley. The throne and the kursi of Allah Rabbul Izzah is placed there. And then their stations are placed. Their places and stations of honor. Some will sit some will sit on stations on stages of light not glass under which there is light. light will hold you they will recline on light others on pearls others on jewelry others on gold and silver the lowest level of on that day are those sitting on cushions of mist misc for your reference i was overseas i'm not telling you where but i was overseas 10 milligrams three thousand us dollars that's that that much so they will sit on cushions of misc and once they have they have set and they found comfort the caller calls ya ahl al jannah o people of jannah inna lakum inda allah mawid yuridu an yunjizakum there's a promise of allah left with you he wishes to honor the promise so they look at each other and they say ma huwa what promise is this alam yubayyid wujuhana wa yusaqqil mawazinana wa yudkhilna aljannata wa yuzahzihna 'anil nar didn't he make our faces glow bright didn't he make us traverse over jahannam and, and over jahannam and enter us into jannah didn't he make our right deeds supersede our our wrong deeds what is left baynama hum kadhalik as they are in this discussion a light comes from above them. The whole of Jannah is covered by it. 
they raise their heads and the Lord Allah Jalla Subhanah is in presence above them. So they look up, Subhan al Khalik, can you imagine the honor? Allah Rabbul Izza says, Ya Ahl al Jannah, Salamun Alaikum, peace be unto you, O dwellers of Jannah. So they say, Allahumma anta salam, wa minka salam, tabarakta ya al Jalali wal Ikram, O Allah, your peace. From you comes peace. Blessed art thou. How high and exalted are you? So Allah Rabbul Izza says, and look at the honor. Aina ibadi yaladina ata'uni bil ghaybi wa lam yarawni. Where are my servants who used to worship and obey me, having never seen me? They never saw me. Someone told them believe. They said, We believe in our Lord. Where are those who believed and obeyed, having never seen me? So they say, and Radina Fardi Anna, O Lord, we are pleased, be pleased with us. So Allah Rabbul Izza says, Inni Lawlam Arda Ankum Lam Uskin Kum Jannati. If I wasn't pleased with you, I wouldn't have put you in my Jannah. So ask for something else. Today is the day of excess. So all of Jannah join on this and they say, Oh Rabb, show your face, we want to look at you. So Allah Rabbul Izza orders for the hijab to be removed. And the hijab of Allah is light. And you you will see your Lord like you see the sun at its noon or the moon at its full. And if you want faqra, nadira ila rabbiha nadira. There will be faces looking at their Lord, looking so much so that Allah Rabbul Izza will talk to some individually and say, do you remember on this day and on this day you did this and you did this? And the Muslim will say, alam taghfir li ya Rabb. Oh Lord, won't you forgive me? Allah Rabbul Izza says, bal bimaghfirati bal it is my forgiveness that has brought you here. My Allah Rabbul Izza Muslims, make us of those who will lay eyes on the blessed face of Allah Rabbul Izza on the day of judgment. My Allah honor you and protect you and guide you.